Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists. Hello, and welcome to Question of the Week with me, Lewis Thompson. This week, we took a look at Patrick's nose picking problem. Why, oh, why am I unable to stop digging my nose? What is it that makes it so satisfying and addictive? Could there be an evolutionary reason for it? Also, why do some other people eat what comes out? Well, Patrick, you've really got us baffled by bogies. None of the behaviour or evolution experts we contacted wanted to touch such a sticky question. <sniffs> Luckily, Liverpool GP Dr Laura Wark knows a few things about noses. Our noses have two main functions. Firstly, to improve the quality of air we breathe in on its journey to our lungs, and secondly, to house receptors that provide our sense of smell. Air is filtered, humidified and warmed on its journey through the nose. Airborne particles are trapped by hairs and the paranasal sinuses produce mucus to keep the nasal cavity moist. Both of these contribute to the build-up of debris in the nose, or snot. (coughs) Okay, so now we know what the nose does. But what is it that makes Patrick so eager to go digging for gold? There isn't much research into why we pick our noses, but nose picking is common practice amongst most kids and adults. In a 1995 study of 254 people in Wisconsin, 91% admitted to being current nose pickers. Practical reasons may be relieving an itch or removing nasal obstructions, which can affect breathing and smell. However, as 12% of teenagers in an Indian study of adolescent nose pickers pointed out, many people do it just because it feels good. Although considered an habitual habit in most cases, similar to nail biting for example, extreme nose picking may be considered pathological if it becomes obsessive, a medical condition branded rhinotelexamania. And picking isn't without its risks. Overpicking can result in septal perforation and the nasal carriage of the bacteria Staphylococcus aureus is increased in those that enjoy a regular rummage. What about those people who love munching on their mucus? A Canadian biochemist has recently hypothesised that nasal mucus has a sweet taste which may encourage its owner to eat it, thereby introducing pathogens into the body and bolstering the immune system. However, this theory has been refuted by other scientists who point out that humans swallow around a litre of nasal secretions a day anyway, so snacking on snot wouldn't confer any additional benefit. Thanks, Laura. You really blew us away. (laughs) Next week, we'll be tackling this rocket riddle from Anthony. Would a rocket launched from a tube, like a bullet from a rifle barrel, be uh, assisted or hindered by that? So what do you think? You can email chris at nakedscientists.com, tweet at Naked Scientists, find us on Facebook, or join in the debate on the forum. That's nakedscientists.com slash forum. Until next time, goodbye.